I don't wanna let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you Welcome to Roots and Knuckles Okay, so today We're gonna talk about back to school So we all know that it's August And all our kids are going back to school right now Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm so excited Um, man No school for two years and I think just as a homeschool mommy, I don't know how you guys do it because it's crazy, it's stressful and that's like the last thing I want to do is trying to teach my kids but anyways, that's like another topic but today I'm gonna basically show you um, what I'm doing to kind of prepare them for back to school so this is very important because I always feel like what you have in your fridge and your pantry kind of sets the tone of how healthy um, you're eating. So it's kind of like the heart of your home. Like you want to make sure that everything in your fridge and your pantry are, um, you know, that you are you have really healthy things in there. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare for back to school and how I organize my fridge. Okay, so right now my fridge looks like this. It's super messy right now because. Um, I've been super busy, so I'm gonna transform this fridge into back to school ready. Um, and you know, all my stuff is still pretty organized. Like, you know, I put all the sauces and condiments and hot sauce and everything um, that's like stuff that you can put by the door because the door is actually like the, ke the temperature um, changes the most, uh, the door of the fridge. So I don't put any like milk, eggs, or any of that stuff. So all my milk um, always go on the top, uh, closest to the back, and then the meat is always on the bottom. So if there's any tips, like just just remember that milk and eggs, you put you want to put that the closest uh, to the top where the the air the cold air comes out, and then the meat you always want to put on the bottom because you don't want to contaminate anything because you know a lot of meat uh, they actually have like juices that comes out like blood and stuff like that so you don't want it to be on a tough shelf and then it leaks and get into your veggies or fruits and stuff like that so just make sure if you guys have any takeaway those are the two things that you have to remember so my meat is always on the bottom um, it's pretty cold too this drawer because the meat needs a certain temperature so I always have bins um, also on the bottom so I'm gonna transform this fridge so that it's back to school ready. So let's go. So one of the most important thing is that you wanna take everything out first. And this bin is easy and if there's any like juices that leaks into the meat, this catches it. So um, yeah, so then I'm gonna clean out the fridge now. Okay, now it's all clean. So now I'm gonna refill everything. And I'm a big fan of labeling stuff. So I love having bins um, and I love labeling them when I bought it and when it expires, that kind of stuff. So like juices and smoothies, I like to kind of put a little date on it. So they like when Doug goes in the fridge, he knows when I made it. Um, so yes, so let's start restocking. especially for a kid's snack. So uh, we like to put them in this drawer where it says fruit. So these fruits, um, they need like a kind of like a low humidity. So it's perfect in this drawer. And then there's also one that says vegetables. So you, if you have a button here, you want to be able to turn that to the vegetable section so that it's high humidity uh, for your vegetables.
organizing the fridge so that I could get my kids ready for back to school. Um, you want to see it? Let's go. Okay, so, like I was telling you, um, I make juice almost three times a week. So, for this week, I'm making celery apple juice. Um, I have a lot of like, you know, veg vegetables like carrots, sweet pepper, cucumbers, all this stuff we use all the time, like spinach and kale. I like to put them in smoothies. We like to saute them or um, stuff like that. So I have also have broccoli and cauliflower in here. And I have a lot of herbs like ginger. I use that in my smoothies and my detox shot for me and Doug. Garlic, I also put that. Celery and green onions. I have all these stuff ready for my kids, um, like for lunch and snacks. So uh, they love tangerines, cheese, yogurt, uh, kiwi, strawberry, blueberry, cherries, raspberries. So all these they love. So I'm going to put that in their lunch bag and your snack pack. Apples, they love like a snack with like apples and usually just apples. Um, I like to just put that in there, the whole apple in, in their snack. And then um, we have some protein here. We love salmon. Uh, we have some processed meat, cream cheese, some chicken, hummus that I made myself. We love making hummus. Um, so we make this ourselves super easy. And yeah, so this is what we have. I say that the fridge is super important when it comes to having a healthy lifestyle. And why is that? It's because your fridge is everything. Um, you want to make sure that whatever's in your fridge, um, it's healthy so that you can eat healthy. So everything that's visible, you know, you you always want like a balanced meal, right? Balanced like veggies and uh, we love vegetables and fruits and um, we love meat. So we try to have a very balanced diet. So my kids love these. These are so good at Trader Joe's. So we get these. Um, I think they're like crispy, crunchy okra, and they literally can eat like two bags in one sitting. So, mm. I love these. Huh. I love it when it fills perfectly, and I don't have to like put it away. Sunflower seeds, um, which they're not nuts, so. I can actually put them in my kids' snacks. Um, mm. Sunflower seeds. I also have these Brazil nuts for Doug. These are really healthy for you. So I love these ginger turmeric um, canola from Trader Joe's. So good. It's so adorable. It's so, it's so good. all over the place. I made a mess. Yeah, I, I made a mess. Can you help mommy uh, get the vacuum over there? And, uh, you made a mess, mom. Totally. Mm, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm gonna show you the finished product. These everything crackers are so good with hummus, with guacamole that I make for them. Oh, I got you. Oh, good job. Come on, show everybody that you're so good at vacuuming. Mm. I made a big mess. Good job, honey. Mommy made a boo boo. I love these sandwiches, cheese sandwiches. Oh, who doesn't? It's so delicious. Look at that one, them. all done. I have a little bowl for them. They can scoop it themselves. And then, all done. All ready for school. Okra. Oh. What are you looking for, Mr. Wong? Okra. Okra? Yeah, see, as soon as I fill the snack drawer, I got little monsters coming. There's another monster. There's two monsters. Monsters, say hi. Bobo, say hi. Monsters. Okra monsters, look at that. Okra <laughs> monsters. Hey guys. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know the drill. Remember to subscribe, you know, and comment and like because if you guys don't show me love, 
I don't know that you love this video or you love what I'm producing. So make sure you guys do that and hit that bell because that bell actually tells you that when I have a new video out. So make sure you guys do that and remember to follow me on rootsandknuckles.com, my blog, my recipes, everything I think of uh, and I write out, it's from the blog. And also make sure to follow me on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.